Hi there, I'm just here in Vidi again, in another training moment where they are actually practicing some uh, Jujutsu Renkaku techniques of leverage and some very interesting anthropological aspects, of course, that belongs to the history of this art. So please, uh, Sensei Luis Nogueira, son, can you explain to us those aspects that we're just performing here about those uh, Jujutsu Renkaku leverage? Very good. We are here training a little uh, techniques around what is Renkaku. When we are talking about Jujutsu, we have several studies that lead us to different concepts of what is Jujutsu, traditional Jujutsu. In this case, we are treating about some techniques that will start like free training, uh, starting in this position, because these techniques come from the Mongolian tradition and the Eastern Asia uh, body combat. Is to say, in this kind of concepts, uh, the grabbing combat is very usual in the tradition because from not only this position, but the idea was always to grab the enemy in a position that it's an advantage for me. For example, I pass into this side and trying to grab in this position and in this case trying to break his ribs, etc. Then, these Renkaku techniques are the way as in our tradition, the Jujutsu has been developed for free combat, applying all the concepts related to the skills of Jujutsu. Then in this case, we are practicing some uh, Kaishi no Giko, uh, defense techniques against some kind of throws. In this case, we are practicing uh, several defenses against a Kagi Otoshi. Kagi Otoshi is like a hook uh, throw. Then in this position, from, from this, he will try to use going to my to my uh, to my back, and with this position he has in his legs full power in order to throw myself to the ground. Then when he hooks my leg, my right leg, I will fall to the ground. Then this idea it's the aim of the Uke's role for now. But in my case, I will be going uh, going backwards in order to avoid for this, this attack for the first time. Then, when he's going to my side in order to hook my leg, I will stay going to that side. And we will start in other position. And in this case, I have some kind of advantage. Because here, I have the uh, capability of making several things. Uh, starting on classical jujutsu, we could strike different points in order to open his guard. Maybe striking with my leg here, here, and for example, what we are going to train right now is to open with my left hand here, open his guard in order to, uh, to hold himself on this position. My head will strike on his head, like this way in order to generate an imbalance. This imbalance will cause my capability to throw himself. And from here, I start with the Kagetoshi here. I go down, open his guard, and strike with my head. Wrap his body. My left hand goes turn over the inside of his right leg from this position. And from here, I will apply Akagi Otoshi, but in Uchi. He was performing in Soto, outside. I will be doing in the inside. And from here, I grab his body. My left hand goes inside his leg. And from here, I will throw to the ground. From here, this is very important, this, uh, this passage. Because here, we have several problems because he could try to avoid any kind of, of grabbing technique or of lock, trying to put my knee or also to strike in my face and put it with kakato and these kind of techniques and kicks. Then for this moment... So in this moment you were saying then starts the Renkaku leverage yeah. of, of Jujutsu study? Yes. From here, we are going more in a kata no giko practice. Is to say, we are going to train not only the leverage, but the control in all this position. Then, we will be checking all points that we could be 
uh, that the uh, opponent in this case will defend against source of. Then from this point, it's very important to check that this leg will be avoided by the contact of my right knee and my elbow. Then the other part with the, my right hand and the other arm passing over will take this control in order to generate this kind of leverage, making a, a knee lock on this side from here. Moreover that, we will practice several liberates that are very interesting from a Jiu-Jitsu practice that is uh, very particular from our tradition. Then we will start to apply several liberates from using the other leg. From here, we will pass this to this in order to avoid kicking me and putting over his knee from this position. My right leg pass turning around his leg from this and applying this liberate, turning my body, using my body, my weight, I will apply this leg control, this leg lock, okay? We are not ending it that way because he has, independently that he is avoided to, to defend in this position, he has his arms and he could, anyway, try to to take a uh, tanto, a uh, knife, and trying to stun myself. Then, our best way to defend against this kind of defenses is to put him uh, face down to the ground. Then, from this position, we will pass my right hand downward his leg and control his foot. So you're way. bringing the uke, or in this case the opponent, to an utsubuse Position, yeah, position to avoid secondary weapons. Yeah, this is the main aim. Independently that we will arrive to different and interesting points in order to generate uh, special techniques that were more rich than the beginner ones. Okay, from this position we turn face down to the ground to this position. In this case, it's very important that the knee could be over uh, his his other leg. Then we will check that our knee is controlling his, his back and his hip in this side and my other knee will stop and press down, pushing down his foot on this position in order to generate a lock on his knee. This is very painful. This we have to have a lot of control in order to don't damage him, uh, our opponent. Then, with this, we have generated at least three kinds of different liberate, three kinds, uh, three different uh, leg locks, knee locks, that are very interesting from our tradition, from our studies. Okay, thank you very much. I'm sorry for interrupting again the training. And we'll try to bring more interesting aspects of also Jujutsu and the history of this great art. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No idea.